So in my time as chairman over the last few years, what has changed in the aviation sector? One thing that hasn't changed is any decision on a new runway for London. We'll maybe come to that in a separate discussion. However, the aviation industry has changed quite significantly. Um, for the, some things for the good and some things for the bad. For the good, airlines are now making money. Uh, if airlines make money, is good because then they can actually invest in, in their equipment and such like. Uh, there's been strong growth uh, around the world generally, um, particularly in, the, in Asia, Middle East and in South America, and, and, and consolidation of airlines as well. And that's been, that's been strengthening for the airlines and the airports. We need a new runway now. We need a new runway 10 years ago, actually. And so to have it done for 2025, which is probably the earliest time, is, is, is important. And Mott McDonald have been working with Heathrow Airport in the development of their plans uh, for many years. And our chairman, uh, Keith Howells, has put his name, and Mott McDonald's name, behind that publicly. Do I have a crystal ball as to what, the, what Brexit will do to the British aviation industry? I, I think everybody would like to know. However, there are lots of op options which are out there. Um, you could say everything looks peace and calm at the moment. However, there's a lot of worries which are there. Unless they're addressed, this will have a negative impact. The primary issue is the ECAA, the European Common Aviation Area. That allows airlines to fly freely around Europe. If that is dissolved, this will not just affect the UK, it will affect all the countries in Europe very profoundly. It means that there will be fewer routes, higher fares for everybody across Europe. So this is really, really important. The second thing is that the UK is also a very big provider of services. To provide services, you need to be able to employ people. A lot of the people that are employed are actually come from mainland Europe because people want to come here. London is a really attractive place to employ people. And, and we are able to get the best people from across Europe to actually to work for British companies because they like working for British companies. We need to continue that. Terrorist incidents are evolving. Uh, a lot of it now comes down to intelligence, intelligence to identify what those threats are and stopping them happening in the first place. And whether it's at an airport, whether it's the incidents in Paris or Nice, a lot of these things are just the same. However, airports are prime targets. You have high density of people, they're high profile. And the UK, however, has been very much at the forefront in developing aviation security over many, many years. And I would see that our systems and our knowledge are really at the world leading cutting edge on that. The transport industries have yet to really become joined up, but they will become joined up. The ability to be able to, to book things on your phone, as I will do quite frequently, um, makes things easy. Now, if you could just press that I'm here, as you will on Google Maps, and I want to go to there, and they'll give you your route on Google Maps, and, uh, and, and if you're going to say, okay, I want to buy that journey, that's the next step. I want to buy that journey. They can tell you, these are your choices, and they can give you, a, the, the, the next thing is to put the price. And then the question is, who takes command of that transaction. So I think there's going to be some very, very big changes coming on as to how mobility is provided to, to the user, how they actually go about purchasing that and making those choices. Um, that people who believe they had market power will no longer have market power. That market power will go to other people, who it may be, whether it's the Googles, whether it's the Ubers or whatever, I don't know. So when I leave my role as chairman, I'll be taking a two-year role as the wise man, as the vice chairman. Uh, Graham Bolton will be taking over as chairman. Uh, Mike Forster and Mike O'Callaghan will be the two deputies, supported by a really strong board. Uh, once again, we had a really strong election for new board members with, with, with um, 18 uh, people applying for seven spaces. And that's really, really healthy. So for the future, you know, one of the important things is demonstrating value to the membership of the British Aviation Group. Now, why do they want to be a member and for the board to demonstrate that they're really getting value out of it? I think also we're going to be having some really, really interesting times with Brexit, with all the trade issues, close relationships with a new Department of International Trade, and we've already had meetings with them because this is going to 
really stamp our future in the next two years.